Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 7 of the service portal uh, training. In this day today we'll talk about that widget reusability. So let's talk about that. Uh, what is the widget reusability and how we can uh, use the widget reusability functionality. So if I go back to this service portal, so this is my service portal, out of box service portal. And if I can uh, right click and control and if I click here call um, show widget customization you can see there are a lot of small small blocks they are um, it is showing that what all widgets are added to this page now if i click the info icon in this page you can see this uh, widget name is icon link if i click here call info icon link it is saying that icon link this is the another widget and if i click here so it is showing also the same widget name called icon link so basically uh, i'm trying to make a point that these three one two three they are the uh, same widget but they are uh, text uh, image and then uh, you know the title everything is changed and whenever we are clicking that they are going redirecting to the different uh, page so basically a single widget can behave differently based on the parameter how it is working because the widget is taking parameter from um, from this developer and based on that they are behaving differently so today i will talk about that how we can design um, or how we can take a parameter and based on the parameter how we how a widget can behave differently so if you go back to this uh, portal that we are talking about or that we have built that portal training and if we go back to the my task in this my task left side we have a incident details I'm going to um, use, I'm going to use that uh, dynamically, I'll take a parameter and in the left side, I will use the one widget and right side, I'll use the same widget, but they will behave differently like the left side, it will be behave like incident uh, details and right side, it will be behave like a change detail. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let's first see that what code we have written in our uh, this call incident details and then based on that we'll discuss that what all parameter we needed. So if I uh, press again control and right click and go to the widget editor. Under this widget editor if you can see this this is the part uh, we have discussed that this is the onload part right and here uh, we are uh, querying to the incident table uh, with the caller and then uh, based on this caller id we are getting that incident details for lumbar short description uh, get display value CSID state so these are the fields we are getting and then we are showing so basically if we can dynamically uh, put that incident uh, table name and then if we can dynamically put the caller id we are will be able to make this uh, widget dynamically um, you know uh, change so what i'll do here uh, I'll first show you that how we can pass that, uh, you know, widget parameter. So if you go back, so this is our um, out of box page and in this out of box page, let's see that how they are passing this uh, parameter rise value or how they are part passing the value. So if you uh, hold the control key and right click, uh, you can see that instance option is there. So in this instance options, they are passing some of the values called request something uh, short description uh, details these are the value they are passing and if I right click and click instance options so they are passing these different different uh, you know value so based on this value these uh, these widget are showing and these options are only available for developer now if I go back to my widget and if I right click you can see the instance option is disabled so this instance option is not available for me anymore so how I enable the instance option, let's understand first. So very first thing is that this is my widgets. I have to open this widget to my platform view. So I'll open that platform view and then I'll uh, uh, rename first. Okay, so I'll change that in instant data, uh, incident details to the record details. And I'll simply save that. So after changing that, I'll maybe probably change that here also, record details. And then if I scroll down, we have a options called 
data table if you can see the data table so this is the data table we do have okay and if you click here you will be able to see a couple of tables which is called instance sp instance instance carousel instance simple instance with link instance with menu these are the um a uh, couple of tables that you can select okay so once you select any of this table let's say that instance with main menu you will be able to see a couple of fields related to that table okay so i i need two fields one is the table and another is the filter so for that i will select that instance with table and once we select that you can see that field name is getting changed so what i will select that first thing first i will select that table and then secondly i will select that uh, you know filter and third i will select the short description and fourth i will uh, select the title so these four parameter i will select and why and how we can use that we'll talk about that but let's uh, change that and save that so our widget is change to as a data table now what i'll do i'll refresh this page and uh, i will go back to this page designer one more time once you added this uh, once we change this table name let's say that the previous table name was sp instance and now you change to that uh, instance table then you need to go back to the page designer and you need to add that widget again because um, uh, otherwise it won't be work so i will delete that uh, widget here so let's say I'll delete this one and delete this container and I will split six by six to uh, two column and here left side I will uh, add couple of uh, you know um, let's say that so in the left side I'll add couple of um, that widget and uh, that widget and the right side I'll do it as, uh, that same widget so I'll select the record details here and here i'll add the record details so two side the left side i will show the incident details and right side i'll show that uh, change details so let's first refresh that once i refresh that you can see the both the side left side and right side showing two widgets now it is time to make changes so very first thing is that i'll click right click here and uh, instance option in the left side and in the left side what i will say that um, in the title, I will say that uh, incident details, short description, so this is incident details, something like that. Here in the table name, I will select the incident. And in the filter condition, I will go back to this uh, uh, here and I will go to this incident table. And here I will select the filter called caller is dynamic is me. I will query that copy query and paste here and save that. So left side, I have changed these details. So left side, it is updated. And then let, uh, let's update the right side option. So if you can see that if I uh, control incident details, you can see left side, all the details that I have mentioned is showing right now. And then it's time to update the right side. Now it is high time to update our widget so let's uh, uh, let's update first before we update that so we pass all this value but this value uh, this uh, value is not getting changed because we need to update our code so for that i will right click instance options one more time and here you can click that here open into the platform so if you click that Right now you will be land to that SP instance table. So this is the SP instance table. And here uh, we have a tape field called table uh, and we have a field called filter. And so these things we are going to be used in our code. So let's go back to this, our code. 
and in our code we need to uh, uh, you know in, in, instead of this hard coded what i'll do here i will say that table so let's declare that where table equal to dollar sp dot get value so if you type the dollar sp from uh, uh, get value you can see that there is a one pop up message is showing that the get a value in the record from the request um, from uh, the ISP instance record from the SP portal record so we we'll hit that and here I will say that table that's the one another is that we have a call filter so I'll say that that filter equal to dollar SP dot get value here I will say the filter and what else we get we get the title so we'll say that where title equal to dollar SP dot get value title and one more is that short description get uh, value short underscore description so these are the things uh, we are going to you know uh, get that so what I will go back to this uh, here you can see this all our value are right now set I'll copy that and paste here that's it right now so what I'll do instead of this table name I will change this to uh, uh, here and instead of this filter hard coded filter i will put this dynamic filter let's save that and see that it is working as per expected or not so i just save that and if i go back and refresh my uh, chain i mean this my task table you can see i am getting the incident number and the change whatever we are expecting all these change are showing but their title on the top is not showing or it's not working right so whenever um, this title and these details are not changing for that how can we get, how can we do that so what i will do uh, instead of that title i will say that data dot title and here uh, i will say that data dot sd why because this value I am going to bind into my HTML here. So incident details instead of that, I want to bind here. So I will, uh, you know, put the data dot title. And then here, you know, I can push that data dot short description. So I'm just directly going to bind that field directly here. So for that, I will say that data dot SD data dot uh, this one. Now let's time it's time to refresh our code and you can see the short description is showing but title is not showing some reason let's see that what is the reason so here you can see that this spelling is wrong so I'll update that and save that and let's refresh that so right now you can see now it is working as per expected the left side uh, it is showing the incident details the right side it is showing the change details and both are working as per expected now if I right click simply that you can see this this widget name is a record details and if I right click simply here this widget name is the record widgets it means that we are pointing to the same widgets we are using the same widgets their behavior is same the functionality pretty much same but we are actually faced uh, we have little tweak that so that it can be utilized multiple time and it can be utilized as a parameter so that's it for today uh, thank you very much have a great day if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day